Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome to this fan fiction. It's a fan fiction to celebrate May the 4th. It's one of the three videos I'll have coming out today, so please feel free to subscribe so you can find all those videos. We've got daily Star Wars content coming out, and it looks like just about 13% of people that watch the content do actually subscribe, so please do. It's the easiest way to support. Leave a like. Let's get into today's fan fiction. What if Darth Plagueis trained Anakin Skywalker? I had a lot of fun making this one. It was after reading the Plagueis book, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. Darth Plagueis strode at a hurried pace from the 500 Republica building to Palpatine's office. He had been on his way to the Senate building to watch as Queen Amidala called for a vote of no confidence on Senator Valorum, but a message from Palpatine had caught his attention much more urgently his immediate attention. Palpatine had recently been formed of a young boy that the Jedi had brought with them from the Outer Rim world of Tatooine. This boy was theorized to be the Chosen One, set to bring balance to the Force. And Plagueis knew that this prophecy never said that he had to be a Jedi. Plagueis was more excited now than he had been in years. This boy could be the secret to taking down the Jedi Order once and for all. He just had to see Anakin Skywalker for himself, had to sense him for himself. He had to know if this boy was truly a creation from the Force, trying to hold the dark side back. And he finally came to a halt outside of Palpatine's apartment, where Anakin was currently residing. And a personal handmaiden of Queen Amidala made her way to the door where Plagueis used a mind trick to be allowed inside to meet the boy. She told Plagueis, who was disguised in his formal alter ego as Higo Damask, that he was just in time, as Qui-Gon, a Jedi Master, would be here shortly to pick Anakin up. Plagueis thanked her, made his way over to the boy, and upon finally reaching him, he opened himself to the Force, attempting to feel the power inside of Anakin. It was waiting to be drawn out, and he could feel it. The strength, the power, Anakin held a power inside of him that was unlike any he'd ever felt, and the emotions inside of him reminded Plagueis of a younger Palpatine, but with an even higher potential. Hello, Anakin, is it? Plagueis asked. Master Qui-Gon asked me to come get you for your meeting with the Jedi Council. He is unfortunately busy with his Padawan right now. I am Jedi Master Plagueis, the Sith Lord told Anakin, attempting to deceive him. Plagueis then pulled out his lightsaber, as proof that he was a Jedi. Anakin looked hesitant, but it was, this was all new territory for him. Who was he to not trust a Jedi? Anakin did agree to join Plagueis, completely unaware of how that choice would forever change his fate. Plagueis carefully, yet inconspicuously, walked Anakin outside to a nearby speeder. The two got in, and made their way away from the Jedi Temple. Anakin began to look confused and he was about to protest before Plagueis put his mind to sleep with the Force. The Chosen One was his. Plagueis escaped on his starfighter to the dark side world of Moraband, where he brought a still unconscious Anakin to a Sith temple. This would be their new home, whether the boy like it or not. And this decision to take Anakin from the Jedi in the final moment caused ripples for both the light and the dark side. Plagueis and Palpatine, both still alive, would execute their plan for Palpatine becoming Chancellor, but Plagueis would remain largely in the shadows, training the Chosen One. Palpatine, in this story, would not kill Plagueis. Instead, he would agree to build the Sith up to help guide the Chosen One. He would visit when he could, but his ultimate goal was to divide the Republic and innocently set up a civil war which at the right moment could be conquering the Jedi with Anakin. And in order to get the Jedi off their immediate trails, a story was formed what he go to mask, Darth Plagueis in secret, stealing Anakin aboard a ship that exploded on its way out of the planet. Both Damask and Anakin were announced as dead, and though the Jedi were not convinced, it was at least a move into reason to try and move on. And now on Moraban, Plagueis spoke to an awoken Anakin. Hello, Anakin. I am not the man I claim to be on Coruscant. I am an enemy of the Jedi, but I had to rescue you. 
While spying on the Jedi, it was revealed to me that the Jedi were manipulating a young boy soon to be killed in order to rid the galaxy of your potential power. I could not let the Jedi do that to you, Anakin. I see your potential, and instead I will train you in the ways of the Force. Plagueis was lying, of course, but again Anakin had little knowledge of the Jedi, and his interaction with the Council was far from pleasant. Anakin agreed to be trained by Plagueis, and so it began. Over the next 15 or so years, Anakin would be trained to become a Sith. Breaking him and convincing him to embrace the darkness was difficult, but Plagueis had his methods, and there was an anger residing deep inside Anakin he would be able to access. The beginning of the training was grueling, with Plagueis introducing Anakin to the Force, and once Anakin had a fine grip of his early power, Plagueis would leave him on hostile planets for weeks at a time with no food or water. Anakin always survived, his hatred and his anger for his master growing substantially each time, but he knew this was his teacher. He needed to learn his secrets, especially how to defeat death itself. And eventually lightsaber and force combat training came. Plagueis would throw hordes of battle droids, every different type, and force Anakin to destroy them all. Anakin became proficient in all seven forms of lightsaber combat and wielded the force like a weapon, like he was in complete control of it. He was extremely powerful. He had to be the chosen one. And near the end of the 15 years, Plagueis taught Anakin everything he knew about immortality. He taught Anakin to influence the midichlorians inside of someone else, but he revealed that he still not could quite control his own. Anakin craved this power, and with the help of Plagueis, he mastered being able to control the midichlorians in another being. With enough focus, Anakin could now kill someone or heal slash revive someone using the Force. Just the Force, being able to just control the midichlorians inside of them to create life or cause death. And he agreed that with Plagueis that it was extremely difficult to do it to yourself. At least that's what he started telling his master. In secret though, Anakin, extremely powerful, had spent many nights practicing, bringing himself to full strength, and then weakening himself, controlling the force, the midichlorians inside of him. Slowly but surely, the ability to cheat death became a power that Anakin achieved without his master ever knowing. If his body ever began to die or injure, the midichlorians inside of him, they would heal almost instantly without Anakin even needing to command them. Anakin had become the most powerful being in the galaxy after these 15 years. And at this time now, the Clone Wars were coming to an end, with the Sith and the CIS set to emerge victorious. Anakin had stayed hidden from the Jedi for this entire time, but he was ready to reveal himself soon as their assassin. He knew about the plan to destroy the, Sith, the Jedi from the inside with Order 66, and Anakin thought he was ready to become the feared ruler alongside Palpatine. Though Anakin was far from Coruscant, he was beyond impressed with Palpatine politically. Anakin was in no place to lead an empire right now, so he needed Palpatine. But he did not need Plagueis. After all, he'd grown past his master in power. Now, he just had to prove himself in a way many Sith before him did, by challenging and killing his master. As Plagueis began to wrap up his experiments on Moraband, preparing to leave for Coruscant, Anakin walked up to him to end his life. Plagueis had recently named Anakin as a Sith Lord, called Darth Vader, and he now spoke to Vader as he entered the room. Vader, we leave for Coruscant momentarily. Are you ready? Plagueis asked. More ready than I've ever been, Anakin said as he stared at his master igniting his crimson red lightsaber blade. You arrogant fool, you challenge me in our time for victory? What a fatal mistake, my young student, Plagueis said as he ignited his own saber. I'm simply removing the unnecessary dead weight of the plan, you old fool, Anakin said as he kept towards Plagueis, the battle now beginning. The two combatants clash in a flurry of blades and force powers, 
Anakin was quick and agile, his movements fueled by the raw power of the Force. Plagueis, however, a true master of the dark side, wielded it with deadly precision. And as the fight raged on, Anakin began to truly tap into his own darkest impulses. His eyes glinted with an inner fire, and he began to channel his rage into his attacks. He unleashed a barrage of force lightning that crackled around, Pla around Plagueis, forcing him to retreat. But Plagueis was not so easily defeated. With a furious roar, he hurled Anakin across the chamber with a powerful blast of force energy. Anakin crashed to the ground, his body wrecked with pain, but it went away quickly with only a few seconds as the force, the midichlorians inside Anakin, healed him as Anakin had trained himself to do. As he regained his footing, Anakin felt a surge of power from deep within him. It was as if something had unlocked inside of him as he fought his master, and he knew that he could use the full power of the dark side to his advantage now. He knew he would be victorious. With a feral growl, he charged Black back towards Plagueis, his lightsaber flashing in the darkness, and he unleashed a barrage of force powers that shook the very foundations of the chamber, causing debris to rain down around them. Plagueis was caught off guard by the sudden onslaught, stumbled back, defenses faltering. Anakin now walked up to him. He was arrogant now, but curiously wanting to test the limits of his powers. And as Plagueis struggled with the debris that tumbled around him, Anakin made himself vulnerable on purpose, looking like he could be killed. Plagueis saw this, gave an evil smile, and drove his saber into Anakin's chest. The pain was immense for Anakin, and his vision began to go black as the saber was pulled out. But then it happened, the force inside of him immediately regenerating his life, and Anakin was back to full power. He'd done it, he'd learned this power to cheat death. Anakin seized the opportunity. Plagueis was shocked, couldn't move in his shock, and Anakin drove his lightsaber into Plagueis' chest now, challenging him to do the same. The blade sizzled as it pierced through the Sith Lord's flesh, and he stared at Plagueis as he desperately tried to do what Anakin had just done. He couldn't believe Anakin was able to save himself, and he tried to do it himself, but he couldn't as Anakin reached inside Plagueis with the Force destroying the midichlorians from inside of him. And with a final gasp of despair, Plagueis fell to the ground, dead. Anakin stood over him, panting with exertion, his eyes blazing with a newfound power. He knew that he'd crossed the line, that he'd cheated death, and all that mattered now was the rush of victory coursing through his veins. He thanked Plagueis for helping him to achieve this power, and he set off for Coruscant. Anakin soon met Palpatine in his office. The two had met maybe 15 times, around once per year, and they had become now the two most powerful beings in the galaxy. Palpatine, an extremely gifted warrior, both with the lightsaber and the dark side of the force, but his best ability was his political manipulation, and he would continue to use it to form an empire. Anakin Skywalker, now Darth Vader, was the most skilled fighter in the galaxy by a wide margin, but did not have the political prowess to truly control the galaxy. Palpatine and Skywalker would continue the rule of two, but it would be reformed. There would be two masters, but there could be as many apprentices as deemed necessary, including Darth Tyrannus, aka Count Dooku. The rule of two was now the rule of two masters. And the time for the Clone Wars to end was now. The time for the Jedi was over. Palpatine sent the Order 66 out, and clones across the galaxy killed their Jedi generals as Darth Vader went to the Jedi Temple alone. From the outside, Vader looked up to the High Council chambers, and with his immense power, Vader grabbed the Council Room, ripped it down from its perch, crushing the Jedi Masters inside, smashing the broken room against the side of the temple, creating a giant hole. And with a hole in the temple now, clone ships began to pour inside to overwhelm the Jedi inside the temple. Vader walked through the doors now, effortlessly killing Jedi with the Force, choking as many as ten at one time, electrocuting entire hallways. Eventually, a Jedi would get behind him, stabbing Vader in the back. Vader stumbled a bit, 
It was a purple blade. He'd never seen one like this. He healed himself, though, and then began to drain the Jedi of his life force, cutting him down rather quickly. Anakin was beyond powerful. He'd reached his full power. The powers from Plagueis, along with what was always residing inside of him, made him unstoppable. And after a long night, the Jedi were wiped out. Chancellor Palpatine declared today would be a new, em new day for the Empire, and he was now Emperor Palpatine, and the Republic would be reformed into a Sith Empire. Lord Vader stood next to him in his Senate pod as the announcement was made. Any system that does not comply with the Empire will suffer the same fate as the Jedi, the Emperor pro proclaimed. He would rule with fear, with Vader at his side, enforcing the power with the Force. No one could stop them. Sidious and Vader would rule as the two masters over an empire. That's where we're going to wrap this one up. There's, uh, it's really, really a dark path. You could find a way for the light side to reemerge. Maybe like, the Force creates a powerful light side being. But either way, I wanted to just go down a super dark path today. Never done it before. I've always had the light side emerge victorious. Had to kill off Plagueis. It's just a destiny. But yeah, Anakin, I just wanted to... F I've never had done a story where he reached his full potential power. That's what we did today. And this was honestly probably exceeding his full potential. So, let me know what you think. Thank you. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.